Steph the Alter Nerd, a popular commentator on royal news and gossip, recently delved into a shocking story involving Meghan Markle's coffee brand, Clever Blends. Allegedly, the brand was embroiled in a lawsuit over lead contamination in the product. To unravel the details, Steph was joined by DC lawyer John Witherspoon. The story began when John sent Steph a link to an article about the case. As they examined the report, it became clear that Meghan's investment in Clever Blends could have serious implications. The report indicated that Clever Blends was sued for having lead in their coffee. While there have been rumours about lead in the coffee within the Meghan community for years, this was the first time anyone had successfully sued Meghan or her brand over the issue. John provided some background on the case. In California, where the lawsuit took place, there are strict laws regarding harmful substances and products. The Safe Drinking Water and Toxic Enforcement Act of 1986, also known as Proposition 65, mandates that products containing certain harmful chemicals like lead must carry a warning label. Both the state and private citizens can enforce this law by initiating litigation against companies that fail to comply. In this instance, Clever Blends was accused of having lead in their coffee, which could cause reproductive harm or cancer. A representative body, Safe Products for Californians, issued a 60-day notice of violation, claiming that Clever Blends had lead compounds in their products without proper warnings. They specifically mentioned the Rose Cacao Super Latte, adding credibility to their accusations. John explained that such lawsuits often result in settlements where companies agree to pay legal fees or make changes to their products in exchange for dropping the suit. In this case, Clever Blends and SPFC reached a confidential settlement, with neither side admitting any fault. This confidentiality suggests that Clever Blends may have agreed to make changes or add labels to their products which could indicate some truth to the allegations. The settlement raised questions about Clever Blend's transparency and whether they had something to hide. If the company was confident that there was no lead in their products, they would likely have fought the lawsuit to protect their brand's reputation. Instead, the settlement and confidentiality agreement left room for speculation. John noted that the amount of lead found in Clever Blend's coffee could be minimal, but even small amounts can lead to litigation. He likened this situation to cases where people use Google Earth to find businesses violating the Americans with Disabilities Act and then sue them. These lawsuits often end in settlements where the business agrees to make changes and pay legal fees. The involvement of Meghan Markle in this case brought it to the public's attention. The Daily Mail reported on the lawsuit highlighting Meghan's investment in Clever Blends and the allegations against the company. The outcome, where the notice of violation was withdrawn after a settlement, doesn't look good for Clever Blends or Megan, as it suggests that there may have been some validity to the claims. In conclusion, the lawsuit against Clever Blends for lead contamination raises significant questions about the company's practices and transparency. It's clear that Clever Blends Coffee has faced issues with lead contamination before. This seems like an attempt by Megan to get ahead of the story, but it's not convincing.